Hey, it's Soup here, and welcome to my 9.2 Fire Mage Rotation Commentary Guide. This guide will be focusing primarily on the aspects of Fire Mage that impact the rotation and what has changed in 9.2. I will be making a Fire Fundamentals Guide that goes into more detail about Fire Mage concepts, so if you'd like to be notified when I do, make sure to subscribe. All right, let's get started. First, I want to cover the 9.2 changes and the impact they've had on the Fire Mage rotation. Starting with the tier set, the two-piece extends the duration of combustion by four seconds and the four piece causes fire blast and phoenix flames to recharge 50 percent faster during combustion the main impacts that the tier set has had is that infernal cascade is much easier to maintain and you get more kindling procs due to more fire blasts and phoenix flames throughout a fight the other 9.2 change is double legendaries the venthyr legendary causes each fire blast to reduce the cooldown of mirrors of torment by four seconds allowing mirrors to be lined up with every combustion when using kindling or used one once in between combustions when using Pyroclasm. The Night Fate Legendary causes targets hit by shifting power to give a 1% crit and haste buff up to 10% and allows you to channel shifting power while moving. This Legendary doesn't have any impact on the rotation, but the quality of life from moving during shifting power is amazing and the haste feeds into Flame Patch really well. Before getting into the rotation commentary, I want to go over some concepts that are important to understand when playing Fire Mage. The first and probably the most important is the Scorch double pyro during combustion. This is achieved by very quickly spending a hot streak proc after casting scorch causing the hot streak pyro plus the scorch to give another hot streak proc. The reason this works is because scorch has just enough travel time to allow for the hot streak to go out before the scorch crit registers. The most common use of this is to delay refreshing infernal cascade when low on fire blast charges as seen here. Next I want to go over the crit grace period. There is a small window that protects you from losing a heating up or hot streak when two spells land at the same time and only one crits. This mainly applies to casting fireball into hot streak pyros to try and keep the crit chains going, which you should be doing as often as possible, but also applies when getting close to capping on fire blast or phoenix flames charges. You can attempt to protect heating up procs by casting fire blast as fireball lands or following fireball with phoenix flames similar to hot streak pyros. All right, let's get into the rotation starting with single target. I'm going to be demonstrating the Venthyr Sun King's Blessing rotation, but before that, I want to show the Night Fae opener. The main difference is that you don't have passive Fire Blast recharge from mirrors, so you want to cast Shifting Power after Rune of Power and before activating the next SKB proc. Back to Venthyr. I precast Pyro at 4 seconds on the pull timer, followed by Mirrors of Torment on pull. If the Pyro doesn't crit, you want to cast Fire Blast during Mirrors as seen here, but since the Pyro did crit, I follow Mirrors with Fireball, Combustion, Fire Blast, then Double Pyro. The only change to the Combustion rotation is that the 4 piece and Mirrors gives enough Fire Blast recharge to weave two Fire Blast Pyros back to back in between the normal Combustion rotation of alternating Fire Blast Pyro with Phoenix Flames Pyro. When I reach 8 SKB stacks, I cast Rune and start hard casting Pyro. I refresh Infernal Cascade during Pyro and then continue the same rotation until Combustion ends and then start fishing for crits with Fireball. At this point, I want to show you the SKB opener starting with a Heating Up proc. When starting with a Heating Up proc, you want to quickly cast Fire Blast, then Pyro, similarly to Scorch Double Pyro. But it's very important to wait until the Pyro finishes casting in order to proc Infernal Cascade with the Fire Blast. Without a Heating Up proc, I like to follow the hard cast pyro with scorch fire blast double pyro after this skb proc i continue the same non-combustion rotation until combustion is ready again and then the last part of the single target rotation i want to show is when combustion is coming back up you can see here that i only have six skb stacks and instead of waiting to activate combustion until i finish the skb stacks i send mirrors and combustion then hard cast pyro to activate the skb proc as soon as it's ready primarily due to kindling it has become even more more important to waste as few SKB stacks as possible, which means activating SKB procs as soon as they're ready so every hot streak contributes to the next SKB proc. High uptime on combustion is the primary focus, and that's achieved by keeping the hot streaks rolling. Next up is the AoE rotation as Night Fae with Flame Patch and the Disciplinary Command Legendary, although SKB is a viable AoE Legendary for Mythic Plus as well. The AoE rotation takes priority at 3 plus targets during combustion, and at 2 
plus targets outside of combustion, you just hard cast flame strike and use fire blast for hot streak flame strikes as seen here. Dragon's Breath also gets AoE priority at three plus targets, but in Mythic Plus, it's more often used as an AoE CC. Getting into the rotation, I start by casting Frost Nova to activate the Frost School for DC, then run into shifting power range and start casting a hard cast flame strike. During flame strike, I activate combustion and cast two fire blasts, then flame strike. I cast Phoenix Flames, fire blast, flame strike, then shifting power. During shifting power, I cast two fire blasts and follow it with flame strike. After another two Phoenix Flames, fire blast, flame strikes, I cast Rune of Power, then Phoenix Flames, fire blast, flame strike. And then I end combustion with Scorch, fire blast, flame strike, and Dragon's Breath. Here is an alternative combustion rotation without shifting power that can also be used as Venthyr. This rotation uses the same concept as the Scorch Double Pyro from the single target rotation to maintain Infernal Cascade uptime. Another important aspect of Fire Mage AoE is taking advantage of Scorch Execute when there are targets below 30% health. I've provided the mouse over and focus Scorch macros that I use in the description below. The most important thing to know about the Fire Mage rotation is that most of your damage will be during combustion and as a result it's important to dial in your combustion muscle memory as much as possible. Being able to navigate the various hot streak combos on the move during combustion is going to make Fire Mage a lot of fun to play. If you have any questions or feedback feel free to let me know in the comments and remember never stop improving. Peace!